ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm back with another unboxing and a great announcement. My computer, brand new computer crashed and I lost all my data for like 10 years. However, I'm pretty sure I have a backup on a hard drive, so I'm gonna check on that. But like I lost probably my clips that I was using on the live streams I was doing in Streamlabs, like my little crabs dancing and stuff. So I'm gonna have to remake those. So kind of a pain. And the we're and we're in the middle of a the beer flu, and I'm like working tirelessly. I'm still doing like 18 hour days, guys. Jeez Louise, this is a Saturday. And I'm doing this quick unboxing before I head and go do more work. We got Silver Load, Johnny Kilo, UK Stacker. Let's make sure my address isn't on there. Okay. This is an order um, I placed during Black Friday with Atmex. How does this box? Oh, there it is. Uh, with Atmex. So the question is, let me know in chat right now. And if you're watching this after the fact, I'm sorry. Press 1 if you think this is going to be an epic win. Press 1 if you think it's going to be an epic fill. We got Silver Steeler. Uh, we've got Jim Davis in the house. Here we go. Oh, wait, let me get my receipt out. One second. Let me get the receipt out. Uh, that's a... Hopefully that did not mess the stream. Here we go. Is my... Hold up. Hold up. Did I just dox myself? Okay, no. I didn't dox myself. Thank God. We got Brick House Jim. You guys, I have to, oh, look at this box. Thank you for supporting SD Bullion. Oh, I said Atmex, this is SD Bullion. I'm gonna have to change the title after this. Epic Phil. Yeah, this was a Black Friday buy on SD Bullion. We got Silver Streak in the house. First three months free storage. I mean, cool, if you can't store your own silver, but um, for me, that just would not work. All right, let's get some guesses. What do you all think this is? Is it premium? Oh, we got Highlander stack and drop in the LFL. What do we got here? What do we got here? <clears throat> you guys, I haven't bought from SD Bullion for a while. I used to never buy from SD Bullion uh, because they charged shipping. And I could always get cheaper prices at Provident. However... Yeah, that's right, Johnny Kilo. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. And, like, I've heard all kinds of horror stories of, like, companies go out of business and people getting screwed. Um, but they used to charge shipping. Now they don't. So I got this silver round at spot. And if you remember on Black Friday, uh, that's when the spot price <clears throat> was going down. I forget what it went to. I think it was low 23 or high 22 or something. So I got this at spot. And I did put these alerts on my Discord, guys. If you're not on my Discord, get on my Discord. I do put, put alerts. Oh, yeah, we got Alice in Silverland, and she said, uh, you got the ounce at spot, get the second best deal, so you get the free shipping. Exactly. Exactly. I wanted the free shipping, um, so I bought some constitutional silver, otherwise known as junk silver. Oh, that one's dirty. Otherwise known as um, 90%. So let's take a quick look at these quarters. I believe this is what, 20, yeah, $25 face. Let's take a quick look. There could be some treasures in here. Okay, 60s. That's the one in the 50s. Ooh, 1935. 1935. 1953, 1936. That one's a bit worn. Let's see if there's any like really cool specimens in here. Let's see if they threw me a bone. Really dirty one. What is that? 1944, super dirty. This is like a quarter you'd find in an arcade as a kid. I remember going in arcades and like looking under all the machines and finding that one quarter that was dropped and missed. That was awesome. And you guys, if you've never had this kind of silver, you can still find it in change today or coin roll hunting. And listen how it sounds. Like when it's in your hand with other coins, it's totally noticeable. All right, let's go to the dimes next. Now, for those people who don't know, especially when I first started stacking, dimes carried a higher premium. And they still do some places, but that's because it's fractional silver. So it's the cheapest fractional silver you can get. So the thought is, is like, if you want to barter or trade or pay somebody for a little work, you could do a dime. So anytime I can get dimes 
um, the same price as any other denomination, I'll get dimes hands down. The only reason that changes is if, is if like the 50 cent pieces are like um, Ben Franklin's or something like this. Yeah, and Highlander just drops the Mercury dime, my favorite dime in chat. You guys, please smash the like button. I know it's cliche, but it super helps me with the YouTube algorithm. I, I know a lot of you guys are subbed. I know a lot of you have notifications turned on and they still don't tell you. So the more people that hit that like, the more it helps me and the more people that subscribe, it helps me. So I'm gonna set this down. Let's take a look at like three of them. Silver King is in the house. <clears throat> you haven't found any. Well, it's gonna come that one day, my friend, and you will. We got, got Boost saying he hit the like, or she, he or she, thank you. We got Dennis here, 1960. <clears throat> uh, 63, okay. So like after the video, guys, I'll count these and confirm. Uh, you know, I actually received full rolls. Hey, what's up, Will? Man, look at that dirty specimen. We got Sublime Mad Dog here. My alarm keeps going off. When my alarm goes off, does it pause the stream? Can somebody tell me? First cup of coffee didn't take around two. Yeah, guys, I have to go into work here and keep working. It's crazy. I need a freaking vacation. I'm going to, like, take the longest vacation after this response. So the first way you can tell Silver is looking at the side, but sometimes you can't hear that. So you can drop it. And Nose Maddox... The man with the largest nose on YouTube just showed up in chat. Smash that like button, folks. Let's get to 30. Look at this beautiful 1938. <clears throat> That's pretty good condition for 1938. Silver King, if you get a 1932, I'm sure you'll give it away, right? Uh, maybe. 1938, go. <laughs> Thank you, Nose, saying smash that like button. I wonder where my bot is. My bot should show up any minute. I have a bot. I do have a bot, 64, 64. The thing I liked about the original Provident, <clears throat> I haven't bought from Provident since JM Bullion bought them out, but Provident would like in a roll like this, they would throw in like one standing Liberty. Oh, my bot is here. You guys know my bot is here. That means you can gamble. You have to do an exclamation point gamble, um, but I don't condone it. Um, you can, and my currency is called Claws, guys. <laughs> my currency is called Claws. Um, you can gamble, you can do different things, uh, different, uh, you can do like exclamation point daisy or different words and things will happen. Silver, silver Sith, Sith is here. Look at that, 1943. You have to do exclamation gamble in the amount you want to gamble, Silver Streak. Nosematic won 3,000 claws, nice nose. Oh man, 1963. 46. Yeah, you earn claws by like being in chats and stuff, live chats. 1963. 1960. 1962. Does exclamation claws tell you how many you have? 1963. Oh, dang. Sorry, Will. You lost. Don't gamble. You guys, if you love these new live streams I'm doing because I don't have time to make videos because my job's absolutely insane. Hit the like, let me know. I'm trying to still take you on my journey with silver, but unfortunately my journey right now is majorly work. I think it should calm down for me in probably the next two weeks because the vaccine's rolling out. So I think after that rolls out and starts to go, I think things are going to calm down for me a lot. I hope I'm just like crazy worked guys. I think you have to do um, exclamation LFL, maybe. No, exclamation luster will do it. Exclamation luster. Uh, we'll get the bot to do something. 1948. And then there's an exclamation Mrs. IS, I think. And then there's one. Look at that. Luster for life, ba life LFL, baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Johnny Kela 180 claws. Nice, Johnny. 1964. <clears throat> 64. Ooh, 36. Look, get I IS a 999 now. If you don't know what a 9 means, 
It all started in Ireland. I was doing a live stream with Silver Limey and we we're walking to stores live. Some of you were with me and we're trying to find silver. So I said, you guys, if you see a girl that could be the future Mrs. International Stacker, fill the chat with nines and then I'll go and try to talk to her. So I'd be walking and people would be typing nines in chat. It wasn't meant to be like nine out of a 10 or 0.9995. It was just the first number I thought of. And then as um, <laughs> that stream progressed in future streams, it just became a thing. So then it became 999. So it was funny. That's where the nines came from. Yeah, there's Mrs. IS and the nine images. And Highlander dropped the new image, which is the Gaw Karen. I think I need to make that a little bit better. But if you guys were at my Mega Gaw, we had like probably 10 Karens. How many Karens were at the Mega Gaw? How many Gaw Karens did we have? 10? Oh, yeah. No, that's where the nines came from. So it wasn't originally like 0 0.999 fine. Although, like, it could be that. It was really <laughs> just the first number I thought of. Most of, like, my funny stuff and my crazy images and the crabs and all this stuff came from a live stream. So if you're not watching the live streams, you could miss history in the making. You could miss the birth of a nation. We are, we are. Crabs of the nation. Smash the like. Come on, let's get to 50 likes. Do it for me. Silver load says mine doesn't work. Nine 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 fine heart. Find a chick that isn't an emotional young girl because she actually believes she's beautiful, which is insanely rare. A sister man. What is this one? Forty seven. Girls can't commit to a man if they can't commit to themselves. Interesting, Alice. Maybe you should write a um Oh, there's a treasure hunt? It says Jim Davis joined the treasure hunt? I don't even know I had that game. Um, and I just forgot what I was talking about. Mega Karens. That's pretty good silver load. Instead of Gaw Karens, Mega Karens. Get a silver prenuptial. How much money do you think you have to have to justify a prenuptial agreement? Honestly. And to the girls in the chat... Would you be completely insulted if you're dating a guy, you got along well, you decide you want to get married, then, but you didn't find out about his, like he was, had a lot of money or a, or a hoard of gold and silver, and then before you got married, he asked for a prenuptial agreement. Wouldn't that make you mad? I feel like that would make, I feel like the girl would feel extremely betrayed and like, what, are you planning to divorce me type thing? Am I right on that? That's what I feel like. Oh, see Omega Shadow. What is up? Gibby's dropping the crabs. Smash the like for the crabs. Somebody do freaking exclamation crab dance. Someone do exclamation crab dance right now. <laughs> A fog descends on Davy Jones locker. I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't even know what's going on. I have some treasure hunt game. It's time for a crab dance. Get those crabs up in the chat. It was one word. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you guys notice the currency is called claws? I thought you guys would like that. It has to be one word crab dance, and you can only do it once every five minutes. Oh, that's funny. 1948. I mean, seriously, if a girl's threatened by that, leave her instantly. But I think you guys know that. How much money do you think you have to have to even go through all that heartache? I feel like it has to be like at least a, a, a million or more. You know, with my stack, I've got like close to 6,000 ounces again. So with my stack, I mean, if it's worth like $180,000, $200,000, I don't even know if that's worth it. Oh, that's funny. Nathan is saying, my wife is not impressed about my silver gold stack. She's cool, though. That's funny. Allison Silverland, want to marry me? Says Silver King. <laughs> That's funny, Silver King. Hey, Mellow Stacker is here. She could ask you for a prenup. That is true. $20 is enough for a prenup, says uh, X Zifil. Zifil? That's funny, 20 bucks. Oh, it's worth it unless you want to lose half. Okay, Got Boost says 500 k would be enough to do a prenup. Maybe you don't need to get married with the government. Just do some private ceremony. No, nah, you need to get married. I believe in that institution. And you get benefits uh, for your spouse. 1936, look at that. Look at that. 
you know, if you're working somewhere, you have health insurance or whatever, you get benefits. So let's see what this card is. And you guys, I'm going to have to fix the title of this. I said Atmex, Epic Fields. SD Bullion, wow. Wow. Our mission is to glorify God through how we manage SD Bullion and serve our customers. We strive to provide the highest quality products at the lowest prices so that our customers may have access to protect their hard-earned assets. Uh, thank you for allowing us to serve you. Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Psalm 62, 1. Wow. I did not know that SD Bullion was a Christian company. I'm sure some of you watching are, are religious. Some of you aren't. And some of you, you know, believe in many different things. I myself am a Christian, um, but, you know, I respect people. And I lived in the Middle East for almost nine years. And over there, the predominant uh, religion is Islam. So I learned a lot about that religion and how people act and operate and their societal and cu cultural considerations. And I saw some really ancient parts of Christianity in terms of like ultra-Orthodox, um, I think it's called Greek Orthodox. So that was a pretty cool experience. I spent some time in Jerusalem. Off again, sorry. I got to spend some time in Jerusalem and see all the holy sites. So that was cool. But, uh, you know, I'm just a real big, like, respect people. You know, people are going to follow the path they follow. If anyone asks me for advice or how I think or support, I'm totally going to tell them. Um, you know, but I try to be respectful and understand people are from different areas and raised differently, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I have my beliefs. Everyone else has their beliefs. So we all got to get along, right? We all got to get along. And that's why I became a member of the Illuminati. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. Sorry. Were you all like, what is this knife? What is this knife in the thumbnail? Were you all like, what the heck is that? I thought it'd make an interesting thumbnail, so I put it in. I'm not sure. I put that in there. Yeah, look at that. You can't beat Spot. And here's how I justified it. Because I'm still waiting for my silver pullback, and I think I might pull the trigger on some more silver. I've been waiting for a while. So I got this at Spot when silver was like, wow, Matt found two silver dimes in his pocket next yesterday. Awesome. The way I look at it is if I would have bought this silver, you know, normally not the Spot deals, I would have paid a couple bucks over Spot if it was 20. So I would have paid 22, 23 anyway. So when I bought this, I think spot was like high 22, low 23. I got it at spot. So therefore, it was almost like I got a deal at, uh, you know, bought it normally at 20, you know? That's how I justified it. But I'm about to buy more, I think. I got a deal on some Scott still right now that I might pull a trigger on. And it's um, $27 an ounce. Four, five, six, seven, which is like over $3 an ounce. But Scott still silver usually does really well, carries a higher premium, really famous. Wow, make me Nathan Kilo, sir, and great Kershalik. Natman, thank you for the 20 DKKs. What is DKK? What is that currency? I'm cleaning it. I got a 10-ounce RCM bar for $1 spot at a pawn shop yesterday. That's awesome, Silver King. That's pretty good. <laughs> Silver loves saying my prenuptial knife. Hey, big shout-out to all... Um, oh, and if any of you were wondering how much that was in U.S. dollars, I could see it on my screen. That was $3.25. Um, but I was about to say something I forgot. Nah. I was what? Okay, I says I was raised Christian, but I have a hard time calling myself Christian. I'll call myself that because I just don't believe people will burn in hell if they don't say the magic password. <clears throat> but Christ emulated something insanely. Uh, Alice, I don't think it's a magic password, uh, per se. And, you know, I don't think everyone, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get into that discussion. But I think it just depends how you look at it. Uh, I don't keep cutlery in my house anymore, mother. You just reminded me of Willard. Donkey Kong Kingdom. Oh, I used to love Donkey Kong. That is funny. Donkey Kong. We are three likes from 60. Can we do it? Can we beat the YouTube algorithm? Look at this bad boy I still have. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it. I wasn't going to flip it, but then I thought maybe I'll give it away. 75th anniversary. 
I'm trying not to face reveal, which is why I have to hold it like this. I might give that away. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Good morning up north. So the bad news is I think I lost a video um, because those of you who joined late in the very first start of this, I informed you all that my computer crashed and I lost all like a ton of data. I think I might have it back up somewhere, but I had a new video. Why can't I get this open? I had a new video unboxing this box from one of you. Uh, Lucy sent it to me and I had to dig for silver. There's mercury dimes hidden. I had to dig for with this shovel. I might've lost the video. I literally lost everything on my computer for years, but I think the last time I did a backup was like two months ago. So it's not too big of a deal. All my most important stuff's on there. It'd just be like, and I transferred all of my YouTube videos as I make them. So it's just some like raw clips. Oh, Danish crone is the DKK. Okay. I love Lucy. That's funny. My sisters growing up loved I Love Lucy. And of course, they were watching reruns because they weren't old enough to watch it when it was out. Fishers of Men says, For God so loved the world, so he gave his only uh, one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, have everlasting life. I believe in that, fathers. Steeler Stacker, what is up, my friend? Emulates what he did and will become immortal. Immortality. Nobody's found my super secret password yet. The one day someone finds that password, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be. Not Mega. Don't worry. It's not going to be Mega. It's not going to be Mega. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go to work. Smash that like. Sharpen those claws. Hit the subscribe. Stack that silver to the sky. Thank you all for turning in. Thank you all for sticking with me during these crazy times where I'm putting out like a fraction of the content that I normally put out. Thank you for believing in me and coming with me on my journey around the world to get gold and silver. And I guess I'll say, hold up, I gotta get something. I gotta get something to finish this off right, one second. And I guess I'll say, members drop that, members drop that imagey. And for those of you who don't know what CYOT know it means, catch you on the next one. Woo! And big shout out to just another average stacker. Check him out on YouTube. He made me this six ouncer. A big shout out to spot stacker who's been missing for months and I'm worried about him. I think something, I don't know what happened, but it's not good. So if you're watching Spot Stacker, thank you. I hope you're okay. But you guys, his channel's been all of a sudden just stopped. So crazy. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and I think Rat Pack made me this. I got to confirm that. I think Rat Pack made me this crap. So thank you, Rat Pack. We'll say luster for life and for, this, for real this time. Catch you on the next one.